All right, welcome to John's video. All right, so we're talking about our week two NFL predictions. But first, we're going to go with week one. <laughs> our week one predictions and overall record. Week one, I went seven and nine in all predictions. You'll see on screen here who I predicted to win and lose. John's predictions went nine and seven. On screen there next to me. Superior. Superior win nine and seven, just total opposites. But now we're here to talk about a week two NFL predictions and score lines, and who we think will make it on either undefeated or just total upsets. Starting with Thursday night football. Los Angeles Chargers versus Kansas City Chiefs. I got Chiefs taking this game all the way. Patrick Mahomes still to me is a top three quarterback in the league. Chargers looked pretty impressive last week, but Chiefs kind of blew me away with how they play, considering all the weapons that Mahomes lost. I think Chiefs will take this one 27-24. You got to be in that low. Come on, man. Hey, man, I'm also going to go Chiefs, but I'm going like 42-40. God damn. Bro, shootout, baby. Come on. I don't think this is going to be an offensive Give shootout. Defense is looking more impressive see. this year. Give me what I want to see. All right, then we're going to start off with Sunday morning games starting at 10 a.m. Patriots against the Steelers. 110% Steelers. They came out shooting week one, and I'm definitely going with them week two, going 2-0. Two and oh. Okay, look, I'm going with the Steelers, but for different reasons, because they did not come out shooting. That offense right. looked very sluggish. I mean. But that they... defense looked amazing. They, did, they didn't lose TJ Watt, though, so I don't know. I'm still going Steelers. I think it'll be close, like 17-10 type of game. Yeah, pretty much. That's where I'm at too. And then we then we got the Panthers Giants. I don't even know who to go here. I'm going Giants. I don't know. I don't know Saquon. Just looking unstoppable at the moment. He had what 164 Look. yards. Looked. I mean, looked like, like Saquon that. Barkley that everyone knew and loved. If you got him on your uh, fantasy team right now, I envy you, man. I want him. I got Giants sadly winning this one too, but a, a very close game just like last week's. I got Giants probably winning this one 21-18. I'm going to go with 21-14. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got the Jets-Browns. Browns blow out. I'm going Browns. That that rushing game, even without even with Joe Jacoby Brissett being a game manager, the rushing game just looked too much. Too good. Too good. Got two different running backs, both putting up numbers. <laughs> right, so, Cream, I mean, Cream, Hunt still had, Cream Hunt's the second running back there, and he still had 22 points in fantasy or some shit. Like yeah, that. I had Nick Chubb, and he had 15 points fantasy. I go Browns winning this on a blowout, probably 27-7. I'm going 31-10. Then Colts-Jags. The Colts looked mighty disappointing the first half of their game. They brought, they brought it back, though. Got a tie with the Texans. I'm going to go Colts over the Jags. Jags did look good, though. But I'm going Colts, I'm going to say, like, 24-21. I'm going to go Colts as well. I saw a video, like, two days ago with Trevor Lawrence trying to do his little hype-up speech before game one. <laughs> that unmotivated me, man. I didn't want to. I wouldn't want to play football after that, My bro. My boy said, all right, guys, it's time to show them. Let's play with swag. <laughs> I was like, I saw the video. After that, nah, bro. If he comes out saying that shit again, Colts going to win this one 31-21. Let's play with swag, guys. Next, Dolphins Ravens. Dolphins look good. Ravens look good. Ravens offensive running game looked terrible. I'm still going to Ravens though because I don't think two is gonna. I don't think two is gonna cut it against a good defense. He underthrew his receivers a lot. Tyreek made up for it because you know it's Tyreek. I'm gonna go Ravens though, and I'm gonna go close one. I'm gonna go like 27-24. Couldn't have said it better myself. I'm actually gonna agree exactly on that. 27-24 Ravens. Considering the fact that, like you said, Dolphins' uh, running game is a little undermining right now, and Ravens' defense, on the other hand, is not. So, I mean, unless Tua has a show-out game with his receivers, and again, you do have the weapons like Tyreek Hill, I don't see them getting blown out. But Yeah, I don't think I'm getting blown out, but I definitely do still think Lamar takes it. Next game, we're going on Buccaneers Saints. This is uh, this is probably going to be a close game to me. In New Orleans, might I? Tom Brady apparently doesn't win in the Orleans. But I'm still going Tom Brady because it's Tom Brady. <laughs> the Saints also looked terrible until, like, the fourth quarter last game. James Winston didn't look good until the fourth quarter. They still managed to squeak a win, but I'm still going Tom Brady. 
And I'm gonna go like, I don't know, 28, 21. I think this might be the first time we go opposites on who we think is gonna win. I or no, you. I thought Steelers were gonna win. You took you took Patriots over Steelers, didn't you? No. Oh, so this would be our first one. I think Saints will take the win over the Bucks. I mean, I don't want the Cowboys defense. Ugh, as much as it hurts. <laughs> Cowboys defense isn't terrible, but Tom Brady still was barely able to do pretty much anything on them. And said they put up what four field goals before they finally got a touchdown at the end because the defense was pretty much on the field that whole time with how shitty the Cowboys offense is at the moment. I think Saints take this one at just the opposite scoreline: 28-21 Saints. Okay, okay. Next is the Commanders and Lions. Commanders Lions. look good. Carson Wentz came out four touchdowns. He looked like his old self, but I'm, I'm, I'm buying in the hype train for the Lions. I'm going with the Lions. I'm with the Lions on this one too. They, uh, they I mean, even really with the good. loss against the Eagles last week, we all knew the Eagles were going to be a much more formidable offense this season. I mean, their defense wasn't always, isn't the greatest, but definitely wasn't the worst. And, I mean, now but now that you got a more of a powerhouse offense, and the Lions still kept in game with them, I see the Lions taking this one 28-14. The Lions started really slow. I might even say 28-14. I'm going to go with, like, a higher score because I think Carson Wentz will continue to play well. I'm going to go, like, 35-28, something like that. Moving on to the my 49ers against the Seahawks. Obviously, I'm picking the 49ers. I'm gonna go with like a low score because I don't believe in Trey Lance. We're gonna go like fourteen to seven. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Seahawks Niners. Uh, man, I did tell John for last week I was a underdog fan, but in this case, Seahawks are not the underdogs, and I don't think the Niners are gonna beat the Seahawks this this Sunday. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go Seahawks on a fourteen seven win. Over the Niners. <laughs> you also think it's going to be a low score. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, next is the Rams-Falcons. I could honestly, if the Rams play as bad as they did against the Bills, I could see the Falcons winning, but I'm not going Falcons. I'm going, they always find a way to choke. I'm going to go with the Rams. And I honestly don't think it'll be close. I think it's going to be 31-10, like how the Rams lost, except I think the Rams actually will have 31 this time. I agree. I don't see Falcons even keeping up with the Rams. I don't care how bad the Rams looked week one. I think they're going to come out firing on all cylinders week two to make a statement. And again, it's against the Falcons. No offense, but I can't tell you much of good good things about the Falcons Cordell Cordell the last few seasons. Cordell Patterson went off week one. Well, there's one person goes off. They, they need to fire on all cylinders just like the Rams need to, but I think the Rams will come out and fire on all cylinders. I don't think the Falcons will. I think they'll definitely have a better defensive showing. They can't let that happen two weeks in a row. Where they just get torched through the air. I got, I got the same. I got a blowout win for the Rams, 35-10. We got the Cardinals Raiders next. I was not impressed with what I saw from the Cardinals. The Raiders, I was impressed with the Devontae Adams Derek Carr connection. Unfortunately, I do believe they lost that game because Derek Carr just turned the ball over what four times. They had, he had like what three interceptions, one fumble, or some shit like that. I'm gonna go with the Raiders though. If Derek Carr can just clean up his play. There's no way I think that that team loses to the Cardinals. I, uh, The Cardinals put up a measly 22 points. They let Kansas City score, what, 44? Uh, Patrick Mahomes still for five touchdowns. I think Derek Carr could do that with Devontae Adams. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm going to go... I'm going to take his score from last game, 35-10. Uh, just because we're Vegas located, honestly, I don't have much of an opinion on both these teams. I didn't really care to watch the Raiders game last week. Or the Chiefs Cardinals. I mean, I had it up on screen, but I was playing Shadow Line, man. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and go Raiders on this one just because I'm Vegas. Uh, not born, but I live in Vegas, so I'll go ahead and have Raiders on a 27 14 win over the Cardinals. Okay, okay, okay. We're going Texans Broncos next. Now, I thought Russell Wilson did not look very good, but they 100% still should have won that game. Because they had two goal line fumbles, which should have been converted for touchdowns. But I'm going to go with the Texans, and here's why. I like what they're building. They look very good. Davis Mills looks like a, a good young quarterback. It's his, what, second year? He, in my opinion, was the best rookie quarterback last year. I'm going to go with the Texans. I believe what they're building. And Broncos' defense looked terrible. 
Uh, this one, as much as I would like to say the Texans, being Texas born, I think I'm gonna go Broncos. And I know, like you said, they're showing last week was kind of disappointing. I mean, they lost to Seattle. And two goal line fumbles, yeah, that's something. But I think they're going to clean up that offensive work this this week and come out firing. Texas, I mean, yeah, they're, they're building, but I don't think they're, they're up where they need to be. And it's only week two. If you said this probably seven, eight games in, I'd probably – predict differently but i'm gonna go broncos winning this one 27 21 see if you said the seven eight games in i'd go the opposite i'd go broncos winning and texans losing mm. but since it's only week two you know denver might be a little sluggish russ is still with his new offense i'm gonna go texans and i'm gonna, I'm gonna go it's like it's gonna be like 28 21 so i'm somewhere close some or 28 24 we'll go there you want to take that one here, this is I got a lot to say about this, man. <laughs> Cowboys, Bengals, man. I'm a Cowboys fan. I know, I know. Everyone's uh, icking right now. Look, I was born in Texas. I would love to be biased and say the Cowboys, but we're let's be fucking real here. All right, three starting offensive linemen out. We're putting three rookies on that line, and I mean we have a possibility of bringing up a a uh, veteran, but I think he's, I think they're not going to put him in week two just yet. I think he won't be until about week four, maybe five. Going against the Super Bowl contender, the Bengals, who just barely lost an OT. Cowboys defense will be the only thing that could possibly keep them in this game. The Cowboys defense is not terrible. I don't think they're God tier by any means, but they're definitely the only reason why Tom Brady didn't put up as many numbers as he probably should have. Or could have against most of their teams. I go Bengals, sadly, beating my team, the uh, Cowboys. I want to say 27 to 10. See, I'm going to go Bengals, obviously. But I think Joe Burrow will clean up his turnovers. He won't have four interceptions. He won't have a lost fumble. I, the Cowboys were literally the only team in the NFL that didn't score a touchdown in week one. Okay, well. The only <laughs> team. So I'm going to go with Bengals, but I'm not going to be as generous. I'm not going to say it's close. I'm going to say it's like 42-7. to 7. They'll get Dang. a touchdown, but I'm going to go 42-7. to 7. I think Jamar Chase, he's going to dog y'all. Dog y'all. I hope we're both wrong on this and the Cowboys win because I'm going to look back <laughs> for you saying that. I think Jamar Chase will dog y'all. Just like... 42-7, Justin... to 7, though? Yeah. That hurts my soul, bro. I you got to give my defense some kind Justin of Justin Jefferson will at least have three of those touchdowns. Or, sorry, Jamar Chase. I was looking oh, at the no, Vikings man. match. <laughs> I was looking at the Vikings match. I think Justin Je- or Jamar Chase, God damn it, will have at least three tutties. Hopefully. I don't mm. have him in fantasy, but unless the other guy has him. I'm going to check don't. to make sure I'm not going against him. <laughs> <laughs> Bears, Packers. Oh, man. I'm not going to I'm gonna be real. This is probably going to be one of the most boring games of the week. Packers yeah. look absolutely terrible. I mean, you saw Aaron Rodgers bitching on the sideline the entire game. His receiving core... I mean, come on. You got Aaron Rodgers as your QB, and you put up what? Was it only seven points? Even that? I don't know what I'm about. I, I see this is going to be a very, very slow offensive game uh, for both teams. And the Bears barely won against Trey Lance, which looked terrible. But again, the only the only difference is they were playing an underwater game, in my opinion. Playing in no I don't think the Bears will win this. I do think Packers will win a 10-7 game. I'm going to go the opposite. I actually think the Bears will win this. The, the I don't know what the hell the Green Bay was doing. But the Bears, during the dry spell, I watched the entire game because it was against my team, during the dry spell, actually were able to put some plays together and that's what led to their comeback. So when it wasn't a raining aquarium, they were able to do something. Important. And I think the Bears will win I'm going to go like 14-7. to seven. Very slow offensive game for sure. Yep. So if you got the defensive defense of either teams, I'm going to put up some points. Mm-hmm. Next, you got Titans-Bills. This is going to be an entertainment, uh, entertaining match in my opinion, but I already know. I'm pretty sure you know who's going to win this game. I got Bills easily, 110%. I think the Bills are Super Bowl contenders this year. I think they deserve to make it, and I don't care if it's week two. Bills are absolutely amazing. Their offense is... is Clicking. Exactly. Uh, freaking Allen, man. That is ridiculous. I go Bills winning this one. I want to say a high-scoring game of 42 to 27 Bills. I think he's being generous. I'm going to go Bills 42 to 10. 
Really? You think so? I mean, the Titans right, they have no only, offense, man. And they barely, barely put up, what, 20 points against... The Giants. The Giants. No offense. And 10, 20 points against the Giants. And they lost. I'm mm. going 42-10 Bills. All right. Last but not least, you got the Minnesota Vikings against Philly. It's a tough game. That's a tough game to predict. And I don't want to say this because I absolutely hate Philly. Absolutely hate Philly. I do think the Eagles will win this on a very, very fun offensive game between both sides of the ball. Or both sides. I think Eagles take this one 27-24. See, I'm going to go opposite. I think Vikings. Vikings and Justin Jefferson just look too good. The Eagles, you know, secondary isn't the best, but it's not the worst. But I think, you know, even then that Justin Jefferson just finds ways to get open. Kirk Cousins finds a way to give him the ball. And I think the Vikings will win it. I think it'll also be a close game. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go twenty eight to twenty one. Hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And that wraps up our week two predictions. We'll come back next week whether I'm really annoyed or happy with the Cowboys performance. And of course you'll see on screen then who had the more correct predictions, and who had the least. John won week one. I think I'm going to win week two. I'm pretty confident about it. But we'll find out next look, week. Look, guys, as long as the Niners win, we'll be okay. That's all i got to say. <laughs> <laughs>